I was scrolling on TikTok and this video came up of this creepy house. And the way this person framed this creepy house was that this was a place that a family lived but also utilized as like this cult uh torture area like there were a lot of details involved in this video that i was watching i thought it was real i thought the thompson extension was real even after watching this video looking at the images that were being brought up of the thompson extension you know like an extension of a house you add a second floor a third floor stuff like that this family added a whole freaking nightmare to their house 1985 origin oregon the thompson family went missing whilst under investigation for tax evasion Police were called to the Thompsons' home after neighbors reported hearing keening noises emanating from inside. Home interior was furnished with unusual exotic items and furniture. Police searched Mr. Thompson's basement den and discovered a second room behind a curtain. This room connected to another not included in the house floor plan. What was initially believed to be an unauthorized extension connected to another room. And another. I was in shock that this was happening when like in the same time I am alive. Like this is wild. People are wild. And then I learned that none of it was real. It was all made up. And these images were AI created or created using AI. I'm a little upset that I thought this was real, but I know I'm not alone. So if you are also bamboozled, into thinking the Thompson extension was real, let me know. Okay, so this is the main page for the Thompson extension. Yeah, that's how freaking in-depth this person went into creating this story. This isn't a real family, okay? This is not a real family. I just need you to understand. So this person made a whole website for their story, the Thompson Extension. So welcome to the Enigma. Curse you, Enigma. Welcome to the Enigma of the Thompson Extension. Welcome to the official portal for exploring the mystery of the Thompson Extension. This enigmatic labyrinth defies physics, challenges human understanding, and has altered the lives of those who dared to investigate it. Here, you'll find meticulously documented case studies, first-hand accounts, this is all fake, and ongoing inquiry, inquiries that aim to uncover the dark secrets of a realm that exists on the fringes of reality and comprehension. Journey with us as we delve into the complexities, the politics, and the unsettling phenomena that make up the Thompson extension. That's just wild that someone freaking did this. But look at these cuts, man. Their hair's shiny. That's how you know it's fake. No one's hair's this shiny. 1985. The Thompson family from the town of Oregon, 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 <laughs> don't say anything, okay? Don't say anything. Went missing while it's under investigation for tax evasion. There's always something around taxes, right? This is perfect for tax season. <laughs> so uh, let me read that without interruption. 1985, the Thompson family from the town of Oregon, Oregon, went missing while it's under investigation for tax evasion. This is our family that went missing. Police were called to the Thompson's home after neighbors reported hearing keening sounds coming from inside the property. Now, this house looks lovely, actually. A different color than this really terrible green, but... 
I would love to be in this house right now. Like, not the Thompson extension, but, you know, something like that. That sounds cute. Um, but for those who don't know what, what keening sounds are, this is what Google says. Keening, countable and uncountable plural keenings. <laughs> you don't need to know that. So it, they're basically intense, mournful wailing after a death, often at a funeral or wake. So when you think of someone mourning some someone's death, like distraught, that sound of that crying, that is keening. Okay. So with that information in mind, police were called to the Thompson's home after their neighbors reported hearing keening sounds coming from inside the property. The home interior was furnished with unusual exotic items and furniture. I don't even know if that is a wig. When I first saw this, I definitely thought it was strange. Um, but honestly, it didn't look too absurd to me. I was like, yeah, that looks like a kind of creepy, a little odd, a lot of green home, but it didn't like stand out as un unusual, like super unusual, which I think is why I thought it was real because I didn't question like th these images that look like, yeah, there, there's a little something off about it, but okay, like I'm here for the story. What happened? Police searched Mr. Thompson's basement den and discovered a second room behind a curtain. Now this is when I was like, whoa, what the hell? Like a whole freaking room and I thought this was weird that someone would have this many curtains, these huge ass curtains in their house, all these, all this carpet and the curtains, like that's a lot of fabric in one space. But that was when I started to feel a little more off about this story. I still thought it was real because there are, are very interesting characters out there in the world. So I wouldn't really question that they would do this because I, I've seen stories of real people having weird things in their house. So it didn't strike as like not, not real. So I was shocked to see that. Like what? They had a whole freaking uh, other room behind these curtains. This room connected to another not included in the house floor plan. So this whole area was behind these curtains. You walk in and then now we enter an area that was not in the house floor plan. Looks real, okay? <laughs> Looks real. Um, what was initially believed to be a non-approved basement extension connected to another room. So connected to this area was this. This is where my jaw started to drop. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I, I just, I was shocked that this was happening, that this house had this in their non-disclosed area. So this was on the other side. And then you walk a little more and you see another extension. Look at these facing. I'm, I'm watching this like, what are they using these balls for? What are they using these chairs? Like, why are they facing that way? Is there a stage over here? Um, there's a random chair right there, more curtains. I, I don't, I don't understand what is happening. This design to this day, the Thompson extension has never been fully explored more of this extension and more of this creepy style of these curtains with these, I don't even know what that is. 
these different levels, stairs going up with rooms. And I just, I don't know what is going on. So that's the main story for the Thompson extension, like this huge ass extension. I don't know why they don't show. There's one image that was really creepy. The aftermath and subsequent investigations. Let me see. Okay. I th maybe this will cover it. The aftermath. The Thompson family and Mayor Green's rise to power 1985 which is where our story starts to 1994. When the Thompson, this is my first time reading this. When the Thompson family vanished without a trace, it shook the small community community of or, origin to its core. Initially under investigation for tax evasion, the family's unexplained disappearance suddenly turned the case into something far more puzzling. Mayor Regina Green who had recently come into office under mysterious circumstances, swiftly suppressed all media coverage related to the Thompson extension. She dismissed it as urban legends and child's play. They always do. Look at her shiny ass hair. The enigmatic end of Mayor Croft. Jonathan Croft, the previous mayor of origin, had himself ventured into the extension shortly after its discovery. Days after his return, he died in circumstances that were never fully explained, opening the door for Regina Green to rise to power. Leveraging the uncertain climate, Green declared a state of emergency, citing vague public safety concerns. Okay, I guess that's the previous mayor. She proceeded to seal off all related records and zones, Effect effacing for some reason I have no idea what that word is effacing most of the public is it supposed to be erasing most of the public memory surrounding Croft's troubling end and the enigmatic Thompson extension I like how her name is Green and she has a blue background, but he has a green background. I think she should have a green background because her last name's green. Anyway, the covert ex expeditions, covert expeditions, confidential documents reveal that from her election year in 1985 up until 1994, Mayor Green allocated substantial resources to unspecified community development. In truth, these were a series of secret expeditions into the Thompson extension. So we're going to see more of this extension. Bound by strict non-disclosure agreements, those who were sent into the Lambrethine, Lambrethine maze either returned deeply scared or didn't return at all. Okay, she's sending people to their death. So this is one image. Again, that very like kid playful color palette with curtains everywhere short curtains long curtains wavy curtains swiggle curtains curtains everywhere the ceiling of the extension by 1994 green perhaps unnerved by the unsettling findings or realizing the hazardous nature of the extension made the executive decision to seal it off though she cited structural instability as the reason, those on the outskirts of these shadow operations whispered about strange rituals perform performed during the sealing. That's weird. Lingering uncertainties. The Greens' uh, machinations? Ma machinations? Wow, words are so hard. <laughs> have been effective in quelling public disclosure. You can tell I don't read often. 
They've spawned a host of unanswered questions. How did she ascend to power so smoothly after Croft's mysterious death? What were the true outcomes of her expeditions into the Thompson extension? While the people of origin have moved on with their lives, the ghosts of their past presented by the lingering and spoken gaze exchanged between Croft and Green remain imprinted on the town's collective memory. Whatever secrets lie within the sealed extension, they will forever be a part of Origin's enigmatic history. This person really likes the word enigmatic. All right, but that's everything for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.